Now, multiple agencies and organizations sparking conversations over the gun violence in the city. This after Lexington reaches 35 homicides so far this year. That number is just too shy of the 37 homicides we had in all of 2021. Fox 56's Georgia Reed Godfrey spent time today talking to the city's former police chief and joins us now with his reaction, concerns, and possible solutions. After 27 years on the force, Anthony Beatty became the first African-American chief of police in Lexington in 2001. Beatty says there was violence then, but when it comes to the year we're having so far, he says these numbers are unheard of. I've never seen anything like this in my nearly 50 years of law enforcement. Anthony Beatty served on the Lexington Police Department for more than 20 years before becoming the city's first African-American police chief in 2001, a time period in the city's history clouded by drug activity sparked by the crack cocaine epidemic. The vast majority of those were related to the criminal element of the drug activity, whereby we were having particularly young African-American males who were being uh, usually shot, and we would find them uh, in the streets of Lexington fairly regularly. During that time, the Lexington Police Department introduced several programs like the Police Activities League and Neighborhood Support Unit. And they were built on the premise that we needed to, uh, first of all, provide uh, effective, proactive policing to the community. Uh, and we had to listen and understand what it was the community was asking and demanding of us. Fast forward to 2022, Lexington is on track to have one of its highest homicide rates ever, with 35 people killed so far. When Beatty was in the job, he says most murders were drug related. It looks like more retaliatory kinds of criminal activity that's happening now that we did not see before. That's very different. But what's the solution now? Beatty says programs that worked in the early 2000s may not work now, but there is still a need for community policing if the city wants to get a handle on its gun violence problem. The police must be seen as allies and not as adversaries. And so in order, in order to solve crime, they need uh, the assistance of the folks who see and know something to give that information to them. Again, being a partner with them, not working apart from them. There is one factor Beatty says was present during his term that's still present now. Poverty and lack of access for many communities to basic things like housing, social services, and educational opportunities. Marvin, Amani. Gigi, thank you.